Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll show you how to paint black birds using some quick and easy techniques. For this video, I'll show you how I painted my aether wings in a black style, and these are gonna be used as crows in my Space Wolves army. The techniques I'll show you in this video are quick and easy to do, and hopefully I'll give you an idea how you might like to paint your models. Right, let's get started. And you can see I've done a little bit of work on the base already. And if you'd like to see how I made these icy frozen bases, then there's a video on the channel. I'll link to it at the end of this video. But here's the Aetherwing, and it's all primed with the Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey. And so this is all ready to get painted now. So the first step is to take some layer Lothurn Blue, and I really like this colour. It's a great paint. And I'm painting this all on the tree. And the tree is going to kind of blend into the base. And so these are the similar colours that I did use on the bases when I made them. So just give that a coat. You might want to give it two. But for this effect, because it is a frozen tree, I don't mind some of that grey coming through. So I just left it at one coat. And yeah, I like the result. So you can see I'm doing six models at the same time. This really speeds up the process. And so it won't take long to get all these models painted. The next paint is the Contrast Black Templar, and we're going to give one coat of this all over the bird. Now, I'm not swamping this with paint. You don't have to do that with contrast paints, but I'm giving it one nice even coat, and this is going to block in all the colour. Now, we're not going to get any highlights from this black. It's quite a rich colour, and with all the texture on that model, we'll do some dry brushing later on to really bring it alive. With all these feathers, there's a lot of texture and surface area on this model. So you need to use a fair bit of paint. And I'm using a decent sized brush. Nothing fancy. This is just an old scruffy brush, but I really like it. And it's great for covering large areas like this. But just take your time. Make sure you do get into all those recesses. And whenever I paint models with the contrast paint, I always try and start and end my brush strokes where I want most of the paint to build up. But with this one, because we're going to bring out some highlights with dry brushing, I'm just trying to give it an even coat. So now I took some white... 0.951 from Vallejo and this very vegan makeup brush and this is going to be how we do our dry brushing. So I work some paint into the bristles, use some paper towel to get some of it off. I just test it on my hand and then I'm going to go onto the base first and then just carefully start going over that tree. And this is really just to give you an idea of how much paint is actually coming off the brush and I want it whiter at the base fading out as we get up to the top. And so I'm just taking my time going all over being a bit rougher once I'm more confident with how much is actually coming off there and then just working it in so it belongs to that base. Then I took some Thunderhawk blue, I really like this colour as well, and a very vegan makeup brush again and I'm just going to do that same dry brushing technique, working the paint into the bristles, getting it off on some kitchen towel and then I'm just going all over the model in light strokes. So I'm trying to catch all the edges, it's good to go against the grain of the feathers so you catch those edges but this is really just to give us a nice colour differentiation between the black and introduce something a bit different. We're going to put another colour over this that's going to be our real highlight. So this is kind of like a mid-colour, if you like, that we're going to introduce. And you can see it makes a huge difference. And using the blues over black is a really nice way to bring out some of the highlights. So next I take the Fenrisian Grey, and this is a lot lighter now. And I'm going to do that same dry brushing technique again. But here you can see I'm just going really carefully, really trying to catch the very tips of those feathers and the edges. And this is where I'm going mostly in one direction, against the grain of the feathers, and then just catching all the edges. And this really brings it to life now. Then I took some technical paint, some Blood for the Blood God. And this is really glossy when it dries. So I get a nice dot, and you can see it on the end of the brush there. And that's going to just go into the eye. Now you could put a little tiny bit of blue or white on the eye area first and then do this. And it might stand out a bit more. But I just wanted it to be just red on that black. So that's all I've gone for. Keeping it nice and simple. But that's all there is to it. Then I took some Contrast Space Wolves Grey. Give this a really good shake. And then I just put one coat over this ribbon that's attached to the, the feet. And um, yeah, you can try all different colours. I tried originally a brown, but it didn't look very good. So I went with the Space Wolves Grey. Then I took that layer Lothurn blue paint again, and then I'm going to give two coats of this all around the rim. And then we'll also do a little bit of dry brushing over that once it's completely dry. And then that's going to tie that base all together. And then that's going to be our model complete. 
And here's our finished model painted to a tabletop ready standard, nice quick easy techniques and just a few steps so it doesn't take a lot at all to get these ready for battle. And I was really happy with how it turned out for just a few steps. I think you get a really nice effect and using the blue over the black is a great way to highlight black and I've done that with some of my Stormcast Eternals as well and I think it works really nice on the armour. And here's all six of them painted up, real dynamic poses, I love these models, they're really great. And here you can see how that blue really works, another nice view of one of them down of the wingspan. And then the base, really like these frozen bases and they're going to fit in really nicely with my space wolves. And I'm using them with the same rules as the Fenrisian wolves. So they're going to be really fun to play on the tabletop. So really happy with how they turned out and I hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully this will give you an idea how you might like to paint any of your crow or bird miniatures for your collection. I'll put a list of all the paints used in this video in the description below and some links where you can save up to 20% off. They are affiliate links but it doesn't cost you anything extra. You can save a bit of money and you support the channel as I get a small commission for any sale made through those links. So if you do choose to do that, thanks so much. It's really awesome of you and it really helps me out. So thanks so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you think about these quick and easy tabletop ready methods. So let me know in the comment section below. And thanks again. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time here on Tabletop Skirmish Game. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below.